Justin, you guys have maintained the entire time that there's some unfinished business to do. So how much did you allow yourself to celebrate the accomplishment before turning your focus to the World Series? You know, it was uh, it was kind of funny. We, uh, we got together back at the hotel last night uh, in one of our big open outdoor spaces that we can, were allowed to uh, to meet in. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys were were talking baseball and and talking, um, you know, about the series that we just went through and, um, you know, different situations and different plays that came up. So uh although i think we were trying to celebrate it a little bit uh everyone's mind just just went straight back to baseball okay so now that your focus definitely is on the rays what do you think about the two best teams as far as records are concerned in each respective league meeting up in the world series in a world in a year that everything's been weird does it seem fitting uh yeah i mean i guess you know when you, you're on this road to win a World Series. Uh, you know, you got to beat the best to be the best. And, uh, you know, that's what this this World Series is going to be about. It's, uh, like you said, the two best records um, going at it and it uh, should be a good series. How much do you think having the designated hitter this year has benefited you guys? Yeah, I think it it's huge because we have so many good offensive players. Uh, it's been huge to get that extra bat in the lineup and get guys even more at bats. So, um, you know, our offense has been good in the past and then you, you add that ninth hitter in there. And I think it made our offense just that much better. Finally for me, Clayton Kershaw gets the nod for game one. What is it about him that you guys like about setting the tone for the series? <laughs> I mean, it's Clayton Kershaw. Uh, He's feeling good, uh, feeling healthy. We know he's going to be prepared. He's going to go out and compete and and give us a chance to win a ball game like he always does. Next question is from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. Hey, Justin, I'm just curious. You know, in a normal year, the World Series comes after a long, grueling season. After a 60-game season, where would you say your body's at compared to year, to the two years you were in the World Series before? Well, I'll say that you know, World Series usually comes after a, a seven game series with off days in between too. So uh, that that NLCS seven straight days uh, was intense and it, you know, it made that 60 game season feel like it was a lot longer. So, um, but we're feeling good. Like I said, we know what's in front of us. We know the opportunity that we have. And, uh, you know, we had an optional day today to come in and, uh, you know, both buses were, were packed full of guys and, and everyone's in here, you know, getting ready for tomorrow. Would you say you guys are fresher mentally and physically even after that seven game series, or do you feel the intensity of the, of that series has put you back? Uh, no, I don't, I, I think that we're all in a good, good place right now. Uh, the vibe's good. Um, I think physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, we're ready to embrace this, this next, uh, this next series. Next question is from Harry Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Justin, one of the, one of the big topics heading into the season way back in July was like, if you guys, if the league reached the world series, like what, do, what would it mean to win a world series in this kind of strange year? Just, um, to the people, you know, there are people out there who still want wondering that. So to those people, what does it mean now that you're here, um, you know, one day away from game one? What, is it, what would it mean to win a World Series in this strange year? Uh, you know, winning the World Series is winning the World Series. I, I know uh, there was a lot of talk on, as to whether or not this is a normal season or, or what a World Series championship would, would mean. But uh, from day one, you know, we came out as a group and said, if there's a, a championship to be won, we're going to go after it and, and we're going to try to try to run it down. So um, playing good teams, uh, a difficult format, not playing at home, being in a, in a bubble, um, not seeing a lot of the teams uh, all year long that we're playing in the, in the postseason. Uh, so there's a lot of challenges that go into uh, winning a championship this year. And um you know, it's, it's still going to be special. 
And it's a pretty quick turnaround. I mean, how much are you guys cramming right now in terms of just getting, I know you guys faced the raise last year, I think it was. I mean, how much cramming is there in these 36 hours? Uh, yeah, it, it is a quick turnaround with only one day off in between. Um, you know, I think by the time I got back to the hotel last night, um, my folder that I have on my, on my iPad with all the raised pictures was already up and loaded. And, um, you know, guys have probably already today, uh, if not later tonight, we'll, we'll probably be watching a lot of film, a lot of video on, on their pictures. And, um, you know, we'll have our meeting tomorrow to, uh, to prepare as best as possible. And then, uh, you know, go out and, and do our thing. Next question is from John Morosi. Go ahead. Thanks, Justin. Uh, you know, certainly 2020 in so many ways has, has been about a day-to-day -day focus for everybody. Uh, but as a, a free agent after the season is over, how much is that this maybe amplified your focus on the day-to-day -day as you go through this experience? Yeah, I mean, that that's not really on my mind. I don't, don't think about it too much. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking about and focused on is is – winning a world series and then whatever happens after that will happen. Um, but that's, that's out of my control right now. All I, all I can worry about is our game tomorrow and figuring out a way to win that game. And then the next day we'll figure out how to win a game on Wednesday. So that's where I'm at. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Justin, you talked about the, the quick turnaround. Uh, how nice is it just to at least have this day to kind of rest. And then after three straight nights of, of the intensity of what you guys we're dealing with how, how well did you sleep last night getting back to, to the, to the hotel? Yeah, I was drained. Uh, I, I slept really good and, um, probably sleep good again tonight. So, uh, but like I said, we, we understand the opportunity in front of us and, um, you know, the Rays played seven days and, uh, seven games in seven days as well and are traveling today. So, uh, there's no excuse, uh, for anyone, uh, we've got to go out and, and play good baseball. Next question from Jeff Wilson. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ronald. Next question from Jeff Wilson. Go ahead. Justin, before the season, I think there are a lot of people who didn't think Major League Baseball would even get to this point trying to navigate a season because of COVID. Uh, I'm just wondering what it says that MLB did make it this far and the commitment, the players, and then the, the testing system itself, how well you think it uh, went down. Yeah, I think it's ultimately a testament to the players uh, for being responsible and making good choices and, um, you know, doing everything that we had to do uh, to ensure that the season was able to go on. So I tip my cap to, to every player who uh, put the uniform on and, and, you know, took that that risk of playing and, and uh, was responsible about it and, and did it the right way and um, enabled us to have a full season and now be able to participate in the World Series. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Ronald. Justin, does it feel at all like the postseason or the World Series compared to your past experiences in neutral sites with either no fans or in the LCS, few fans and you're on artificial turf. And how do you get to the same emotional level as in past postseasons? <laughs> I don't know if you watched game seven last night, but it sure felt like a uh, postseason to me. Uh, <laughs> the, the back and forth, the momentum shifts, uh, big plays, uh, big swings, big pitches. Uh, that was as much of a, playoff feel as as i've ever experienced thanks Jeff.